Okay, welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday, June 6, 2018. We are finally moved into the new house. This was one of the most painful experiences of my life. Did not anticipate that. I probably should have, but just for so many different reasons. I think the thing that has disappointed me the most is how predictable my response to everything has been. Because my response to things not going well, too much stuff and clutter is just so predictable. You know how you want to act a certain way and you're like, you know, I want to be that type of person. And then you just fall back into your same old patterns. Well, every time I move and have to deal with other people's large amount of stuff that happens every time, and every time I'm so disappointed with myself, I'm like, I gotta be able to handle this better, right? Not too long ago. Anyways, thank you to Goo Goo for the encouragement to start the vlog back up. I've really been missing it, and other people have told me they have missed it as well, so it's time to get back. I'll try to make this an actually interesting vlog for you to watch. Can't come back after all this time and then make it just a crap vlog. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I won't. one more thing we had the meetup for adventure archives in columbus ohio we had like 80 people show up you know it is so amazing to me that we have this many amazing viewers and also that there's this many families who watch it there's so many kids who came and they actually watched the show they weren't just dragged along with their parents incredible dude like i don't understand how it happened how we have such a family friendly show but glad it worked out that way but it's crazy every single person who I've met who watches the show has been an amazing person just like from top to bottom so somehow somehow we just attract really good people man just shooting a couple of shots already it feels so good to be back to the vlog I love that routine and just shooting stuff and then getting to open your presents later when you look at the footage oh man this is so exciting Okay, well first up, this is my new office. Uh, we had floors installed, we painted the walls and the windows and did all that stuff. Anyways, my keyboard is going to go over here, this will be the music area. Computer, obviously. Everything else I'm going to keep pretty much the same because I want a nice clean work area when I'm working on stuff. So one thing you'll notice is that pretty much everything is the exact same layout. The only thing different is that all the paint is shiny and new. Also, my room is a little bit smaller and it kind of looks like this right now because the entire garage is filled. But hopefully within a week or so, the garage will be cleared out and all that stuff will be good and this kitchen will be done. I'm not really sure how well you guys actually knew the layout of the old house, but the TV used to be over there, the kitchen was over here. Over there was like the laundry room. The TV used to extend further that way. This place, it doesn't extend like that, but the garage is humongous. Like the cars only come up to about here, so all this area is usable for like my instruments or whatever. Right now it's kind of filled with the old kitchen. But you know what? One thing this move has done for me is instilled a new desire to maintain and keep things that I own in tip top shape. When we were clearing this place out and throwing stuff away and cleaning the walls and painting the walls, it just kind of struck me how everything that's man-made, if you don't maintain it, it just crumbles. And then it's like, why do you even have it at that point? It's like a disrespect to the object and a waste of your own time. And I was just thinking about my own stuff and the way that I've treated my drum set, I mean, it's not in terrible shape, but just the way I haven't upkeeped it and maintained it and cleaned it and kept it from rusting, just like shameful. Why do I even own the drum set? I feel like I should have given it away to somebody who would take care of it and use it, you know? Like my bicycle, like both of these tires are flat, the handlebars are all broken, the seat's all cracked, chain is rusted. So like for one thing, I'd like to be able to use it, but for another thing, I don't want to treat my stuff like this. One thing my brother said that really stuck with me one time was, your own mess never seems bad. It's other people's messes that seems bad. And the takeaway that I've kind of gotten from this whole moving situation is that you can really use other people's behavior and things that they've done to 
further define how you want to live your own life. My minimalism is really a response to my environment in that I've always been surrounded by people or places that are just cluttered and there's so much stuff and I'm like, what is this all doing here? Although in my case, it's kind of been pathological because I've been so frustrated with the stuff around me that I go to an extreme length on my own stuff. Except for this collection, of course. But maintaining my stuff and keeping everything in tip-top condition, it was never really a huge priority of mine until I just saw like the state of disrepair that things can get into and just how sad it is. There's no joy in it, you know what I mean? Like when you see a, a sad old house that has just been neglected and just the carpet smells terrible, the walls are disgusting, windows are dirty, it's just like, man, this is just, there's no joy and exuberance in it. To that end, I really need to get my car painted. I just really don't want to spend the money on that. Anyways, this shirt, I think I've mentioned this before, but I paid $90 for it, and I've had it for about three years now. Every time it gets a hole or something, I get it patched up, like I just got this one patched up. For everything that I own and do, I want to have intentionality behind it. If I own a shirt, it might as well be my favorite shirt. Why have any shirts that are not my favorite shirt? Do I need to have 20 shirts and I only wear two of them? I just want the two shirts that I'm like, yes! Does that make sense? That's how I want everything in my life to be. Let's clean that car! Whether we're talking about your body or your stuff. If you don't keep it maintained, it's gonna fall apart. And I think that's just like a fact of life that you really have to accept. If you want things to be in tip top shape, that is. If you don't care, then you don't care. Next up, weekly Zumba class, and then tomorrow we're going on a mini adventure. We're headed north to the great Yukon, the great northern country. No, I'm just going to Canada, but on the way, we're gonna do some adventuring and exploring. This is my water for today. I actually don't have anything to say. Let's just go teach this class. Okay, my dad's house. We will be playing the Switch today. Not me and my dad, but me and my sister. Although Mario Odyssey is starting to get a little bit thin. We've been playing the end game for a while. It gets to the point where it's so hard to find new moons. So today's goal is actually going to be to try to prevent myself from buying the Street Fighter collection because I have been wanting to get that since it came out and it's very hard to resist. Very difficult to resist. Why don't you give a tour of the new house? So this oh, is the... This is the front. This is all the stuff that's going away in the garage sale tomorrow. These are the vines that have to go away and the bush that has to go away. This is the living room. And that's the kitchen and the dining room. This is the wall that in our old house used to have the refrigerator and the cabinet. And then down the hall. Robbie's bedroom, which is a little bit smaller than the old one. Robbie's office, which is very clean. And the master bedroom. <laughs> That's it. Andrew said there were three mulberry trees and then some other tree. But I don't know what the other tree is. Hmm. Maybe it's like a male mulberry tree. And that is a army generator. Like, official army. Let's take a look at it. Which, that's really cool. That's really cool. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's big U.S. Big. Department of Defense, NATO standard. Hmm. Very cool. 
Yeah, it's a good house. It is a great house. Good yard. We have a fence all the way around so when the boys come to play, they won't get lost. <laughs> That's gonna do it for today, but the vlog must continue. I'm gonna sleep and I will be back. So this is our backyard, which is much more, oh! much more usable. Slippery? Yeah, it was. <laughs>